Okay, so let's do 323 here, and we're to use nodal analysis to find V naught, this voltage here in this circuit. So let's first do our first step, which is our reference node, and that is zero volts at the bottom. Zero volts. And I think we can label this point, this node, since this is zero, that it should be 30 volts. And let's label this point here, let's label that uh, V naught, right, this voltage here. And we can label this one V1 and this one V2. So we have our voltages. And let's take a look at our currents. We'll call the current here I naught. The one downward, I1. And this one here, I2. And our last one, I3. Okay. So we call we call this a reference node at the bottom. Reference node, because we know the voltage is zero. Okay. Now we have a voltage source up here between two non-reference nodes. Non, meaning not non-reference nodes here and here. So we have a voltage source between those two points. And because of that, we need to do one of our special cases where we do a super node. So we're gonna take a super node here. We're going to combine all of these points into one node, into one node. And so that's going to be our super node. And if you remember super node, kind of like Superman, our super node. So if we take a look at our super node, we're gonna do N minus out equals zero. So here we have going in, we have I not N, and three is also going into our super node. So we have plus three, and then going out is I1 and I3. So I1 and I3 are going out, and we set that equal to zero. Now going a step further, I0 here is equal to 30, 30 volts minus V naught, divided by our resistance between those 60 plus 3 minus I1. I1 is V naught divided by 30. And we have I3, which is V2 minus 60, or over 60, I'm sorry, over 60 equals zero. Okay, so let's take this equation and let's multiply it by 60 here, just to simplify. So we have 30 minus V naught plus three times 60, 180, 180, 60 times 30, which is two V, okay, there. And then also V2 equals zero. All right, we can combine the V naughts and then add, so we have 210 minus three V naught equals V2. Did I do that correctly? I think I did. Okay. So that's our equation here, but we have two unknowns. We do not know V naught 
and we do not know v2. So what do we do? We need more equations, more equations. So let's take a look at v0 here, and let's, let's try that. And I'm gonna erase this just to give us a little more room. Okay, so at this node, we're gonna do n minus out. So we have i0 coming in, and we have going out, we have i1 and i2. Okay, we have i0, we already wrote that, is 30 minus v0 divided by 60. I1, I1 is V0 divided by 30. And I2, I2 is V0 minus V1 divided by 30. Set that equal to zero. Okay, let's multiply this by 60. So we get 30 minus V naught minus two V naught minus two times V naught minus V one equals zero. Okay, let's combine some things. That's 30, one, C minus five V naught plus two V one equals zero. Okay, so that's our other equation, but now we have three unknowns. We have V naught and V one and V two. So that's three and we only have two equations. So we have a problem here, we need one more equation. One more equation. One more equation. One more equation. So you see up here, we have a voltage source between these two. And if V1, is equal to V2 plus 3V0. V2 plus this is equal to V1. So that is our third equation here. I'm sorry, that's a little hard to see. Let me see if I can move that for you. Um, so V1 equals V2 plus 3 V naught. Okay. All right, so let's keep going. So let's put that in right here. V2, this is V2 plus 3 V naught. And using this equation, let's rewrite this equation. We have 30 minus five V naught plus two V two plus six V naught equals zero. Okay, let's simplify. We have 30 plus two V two. Mm, 30 plus, uh, plus V naught plus two V two equals zero. Okay, so we have this equation. Let's solve for V two. V two is equal to mm, let's try to do this in my head. Uh, negative 30 minus V naught divided by two, is that what we get? Okay, so let's go ahead and put that 
into here and we'll get 210 minus 3v naught is equal to negative 30 minus v naught divided by 2. And I believe v naught then comes out to 90 volts. Let's double check. Yes, that looks like it works out. V naught is 90 volts.